go in person or remain virtual? That is the big question tonight before the Milwaukee Public School Board. Yes, public comment wrapped up just moments ago. Stephanie Haynes is joining us live with the debate. Hey, good evening. Yes, that meeting going on for more than four hours ago. Public comment wrapping up a lot of people expressing their opposition. They do not want to return to class in person. Now the board has finally gotten to their discussion about a motion in place changing the administration's original plan. The board wants teachers to come back April 12th. Students two days later, they want to keep grades 10 and 11 virtual throughout the school year and keep class sizes to 15 to 18. At a special meeting Tuesday night, the MPS school board heard administrators' plans to return to the classroom. Administrators recommended a phased-in return on April 12th, with staff returning as soon as next week. But the board motioned for changes, such as teachers not return until April 12th, and students begin returning April 14th, with grades 10 and 11 remaining virtual for the rest of the year. We also recognize that we will not make everyone happy. But we want to give families and students a choice whether they want to have in person instruction or whether they want to remain virtual. So that will continue to be a choice for our families. Administrators shared other COVID 19 safety mitigations, such as assigned seating and less capacity on buses and better ventilation in classrooms. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett said he wanted the board to approve the administration's recommended plan. He and Milwaukee Health Commissioner Kirsten Johnson said 5,000 MPS staff has been vaccinated and 1,000 Johnson and Johnson vaccine doses have been set aside for staff that has yet to be vaccinated. The board said 90 people signed up to speak at the meeting. They heard from plenty of parents and teachers, many of whom echoed the union's concerns that the plan lacks details and the return is too soon. There is ample pressure to reopen, but the real pressure that is that this board has on it tonight is to safely reopen during a pandemic that is not over. I as a parent will not be sending my child back to school because you have not proven to me that it is safe or worth disrupting his routine. There are children that are in MPS that are in three generational homes right now. Could you imagine if a child were to bring that home? Other parents and students supported the plan and said it's time to return to the classroom. One of my children is an IEP student. Her needs are not being met. I can't stress enough how hard it is for kids to learn. Try taking uh, IB chemistry through a computer screen. The teachers union said that they were kept out of some discussions about the plan, the plan to return to school. And Dr. Keith Posley responded to that earlier this afternoon, saying that the details uh, didn't go out to the school, uh, to the uh, teachers union, um, and they weren't able to get some of the information. But we will keep an eye, uh, an ear out on what decision the board makes tonight. Live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Stephanie, thank you. Let's go in depth for a moment now. The Center for Disease Control does have guidelines for returning to in person learning. It recommends heading back to class in communities with a positivity rate of less than 8%. The city of Milwaukee's COVID 19 dashboard reports an average positivity rate of 3% over the past week.